size you need to fill burn. Washington Street. That is a prime location. Okay. Hi, Jessica. Hi, it's Veda with ASMR Realty. How are you today? Great. So, I have sent the meeting invite to your email, and you should be getting it in your inbox any moment. Okay, perfect. All right, let me just grant you access. Fantastic. Okay, I can see you. Can you see me okay? All right, lovely. So, first of all, um, I'm really excited to be working with you. I know that you are working for a very high-profile couple. Is that correct? Okay, yeah, and... Um, I just have a couple of questions about your clients so that I can make sure we're looking at the perfect real estate options for them. Now they are looking to purchase. Okay. And do they have children? Okay. Do you know of any areas that they're particularly interested in? Yeah. Yes, of course beautiful. And um, what sort of price range are we looking at? Okay. So we're really, we're really looking for sort of the best of the best homes, ultra luxury. Yeah. Oh, we can definitely manage that. So ASMR Realty handles really the cream of the crop of San Francisco Realty. So I'm sure that we can find some options that should be to your client's liking. In terms of style, do you know what they're looking for? Um, more modern, traditional? Okay, so we're pretty open to some options then. Well, this will be fun. All right. So I have pulled up a selection of options based on what you're telling me. And I can start by going through some of those with you here through our video chat. And I'll show you the pictures. We can look through the listings together and choose which ones we'd like to go see in person. Okay. Now, are you going to be doing the in-person visits for them or will they be attending? Certainly. Okay. And would it just be you or any family? Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Now, just to um, maybe prioritize some of these, what are some things that they really like in a home? Yeah, certainly space for entertaining. Yeah. Okay. Uniqueness. Okay. Well, we certainly have some unique properties on the list, particularly at the um, price point they're looking at. They're going to be seeing some beautiful options, so we can definitely accommodate that. Okay, so we need some space for cars. And are they looking more for um, a standalone house, or would they like to be in a sort of downtown penthouse? Okay. Yeah, we can, we can take a look at everything, and then sometimes it helps when they sort of look through the pictures, or if they do eventually decide to see some of the front runners in person, that can sort of um, help cement the idea of what they want. Is this going to be a primary residence? Okay, so they spend time all over the world, I'm sure. Okay, so this will be a temporary, or not temporary, what, but um, part-time residence for them. Perfect. Okay. So let me go ahead and we can start with this one. It is a very interesting modern option that just came up. It is 2620 Buchanan Street 
and I'm going to start you on the first picture, which is actually not the front of the house. It is interior, so you can really see the sort of vibe that this has. Very modern style inside. Is this something that you think they might like? Okay, so we can definitely look at it. It's um, a six bed, eight bath, listing right now for 18 million, and um, it was originally built in 1889. Yeah, so this is um. It's very, very updated, very modern on the inside with some very interesting architectural details on the outside I think you'll enjoy. So, go in here. This was originally built in 1889. This sophisticated residence is prominently located on the corner of Buchanan and Broadway, ideally situated in the heart of Pacific Heights. It's a short distance from shops and restaurants along Fillmore and Union, as well as many of the city's most sought-after private schools. Yeah, so if they do, um, if they decide to have children and end up settling in this home permanently, really wonderful schools in the area. This is a rare opportunity to enjoy the results of a four-year reconstruction. The dramatic facade was meticulously restored and its structure completely rebuilt, with concrete and steel supports on every level to a seismic standard rarely seen in residential construction. So it is very safely constructed. You're not going to have to worry about any of the California earthquakes. They will be very secure. The ceiling loft is as high as 13 plus feet, creating a wonderful sense of airiness and light. The house is a dream for chefs and entertaining featuring the best appliances from high-end manufacturers such as Sub-Zero and Wolf and equipment typically seen in commercial kitchens. So, yeah, I, th I would think at that, at this price point, generally they have a chef, so this will certainly be a good space for their chef or themselves if they do like to cook. The open plan main level includes a great room with Spanish limestone fireplace, sitting room, wet bar, and large gourmet kitchen and walk-in pantry. The bedroom level features four full suites and a well-equipped laundry room. The upper level principal suite includes a sleek skylight office, two impeccably outfitted walk-in closets, walk-in shoe closet, and additional seasonal storage. So plenty of storage in place for valuables and clothes. The principal bath has two long twin vanities beneath a soaring light display, two water closets, and a large wet room with double showers and tub. The lower level features an impressive wine display wall, home gym, and large office with separate entrance, built-in oak desk and kitchenette. A generous family room with another well-appointed kitchen opens out onto the backyard with a built-in Lynx grill and perimeter seating around an oversized fire table. The four-car garage includes a vehicle turntable, six personal storage lockers, and full vanity, so they'll definitely have room for their vehicles. Comprehensive home amenities include HVAC and radiant floor heating, double-speed elevator, savant integration, Lutron lighting, Sonos sound, keyless entry, video surveillance, and more. So this has been meticulously upgraded. Now, if you look at that first picture, you can see that beautiful fireplace that was in the description, as well as um, the gorgeous gas fire in there, remote controlled, of course. And the next photo is the outside, again, meticulously restored. If you look at the beautiful details on the um, siding, really gorgeous patterns and lovely landscaping. You can't quite see in this photo, but it's beautiful, freshly painted. And the next photo is another of the same room. Gives you a better view of the staircase. And another angle of that room so you can sort of see the informal eating space. Gorgeous open floor plan there. Lots of natural light in the next photo. You see the kitchen. Really, really beautiful with those luxury 
commercial grade appliances. You have this large sink, two large sinks, excuse me, several ovens, two cooktops, and lots and lots of cabinet space, beautiful stainless, stainless steel backing there, and of course the marble countertops. The next view of the kitchen provides you a view of the refrigerator, so you see the two giant sub-zero fridges and the large banquette seating, so very, very comfortable, great place to sit and have coffee, breakfast, informal seating. The next picture shows you a wet bar, so you can see plenty of room for wine glasses, wine storage, little sink there, and again, matching marble countertops. Then we have a seating area that goes out onto a beautiful balcony with some sliding pocket-style doors. Again, lots of light allowed in. And in the next photo, we have our gym. So, it'd be a great spot to keep as a gym. You could use it as Okay, so they are fitness buffs, yeah. Well, we already have the flooring that's perfect for the gym, those sort of padded tiles, and the floor-to-ceiling mirrors. Be a great place for um, a Peloton or Tempo Home Gym or whatever it is they prefer. We have that uh, wall-mounted high-powered fan to keep them nice and cool as well. And then we have a better view of the balcony and the city beyond. The twelfth photo is a gorgeous bedroom. This would be your master bedroom. You see we have that beautiful lofted ceiling, lots of space, natural light, and um, really, really nice, unique tile floors in there. Now we have the master bath. Each side has its own very long vanity and sink with lots of storage. I think um, two people would certainly not be upset to share this bathroom. They each have their own space, plenty of it, with uh, the same flooring carried in from the bedroom. Really makes a beautiful flow and continuity in the house. Large mirrors, and if you look, um, you can see sort of the very updated, modern finishes. So if you look at the faucet there, very modern, as well as all the drawer poles and the lighting. And here's a view of the wet room and tub. It is a freestanding tub next to some windows. Of course, they have been um, sort of frosted, so nobody can see in, but they do allow a lot of light in. And then we have the whole room tiled as a wet room, in case anything gets on the floor. Plenty of built-in space on the walls to hang towels and robes. And you can see sort of on the right there the shower. If we go to the next picture, here is the very large shower. Um, two shower heads with um, two handheld shower heads as well. So can definitely fit two people comfortably in here, and it's certainly very beautiful. And that is actually in the same wet room portion as the bath, so if they decided to maybe take a bath and then shower off, you can just get right out of the bath, walk right over to the shower heads. It's all in the same wet room part of the shower, so you don't even have to worry about uh, getting water anywhere or anything, of course. Now, the next photo is sort of a landing space at the top of the stairs. It has been staged to be used as an office, so it could be an office or a little sitting area. If you see there, there's um, the elevator on the left and then two large closets on the right. Then, we have one of my favorite parts, this giant walk-in closet with plenty of built-ins, some seating on the end there where you can sort of sit and get comfortable putting on your shoes. The middle island is great for 
sort of displaying valuables if you'd like to display out some jewelry or um, it also has plenty of storage in it, especially for jewelry. Lots of lighting on top so you can definitely see all of your items and how wonderful you look in them. Then we have one of the guest bedrooms or secondary bedrooms. Really interesting shape, definitely is a good size. And again, beautiful lighting. We have these gorgeous plantation shutters that uh, can be fully opened or left partially closed like this to let in some light, but also give some privacy. And another bedroom. Still very beautiful, good size. You see the large windows. Everything is very light and bright and airy. Yet another bedroom. And another bedroom. Like I said, this one has six bedrooms, so they'll have plenty of room for guests. And they are all of a very good size. Lots of light. Okay, so now we are coming to uh, sort of the main living room, family room area where you can really get comfortable, watch a movie. Really nice open floor plan space. You can have your um, sitting area with some built-ins beautiful bookshelves and place for our TV. And then we have, they have it set as a game table, but it could be another eating area. A closer look at that sitting area also shows a beautiful built-in padded bench next to the windows. Be a great place to sit and read a book, just relax, chat with friends. And here we have another kitchen space. So this could be used as a in-law suite or a small apartment for guests if they want their own privacy. This also has the same beautiful marble countertops that we saw in the main kitchen, along with those upgraded appliances, the Sub-Zero fridge and um, that gorgeous stainless vent hood. And here is another space. You see the wet bar over here with the wine fridge and more storage. And um, we have a built-in desk, actually, with some built-in bookcases. Really gorgeous space for work. And this is part of that same sort of in-law suite or secondary apartment. Now we are moving outside and we have a very, very beautiful little sitting area. Gorgeous fire pit in the center. It is gas, so easy to turn on, turn off. Really nice to have that grassy area with the large built-in bench seating. And if you see next to the fire pit, there's that really big table where you could maybe put out some hors d'oeuvres for your guests, maybe a charcuterie plate, drinks. It's a very nice area for entertaining. And it's quite private, as you can see, with the hedges around, beautiful landscaping, and the privacy fence. Now we are moving into the garage, so you see that turntable in the center. Maybe put the big showpiece vehicle there. Plenty of room, as I said, four-car garage. And that is it. That is the last photo. So, what do you think about this one? Again, the price point was 18000 six bed, eight bath. Okay, yeah, so this is sort of, uh, this could be something that they would enjoy. All right, and that's definitely a more modern style. We certainly have more classic options, but I'll put that on the list of ones that you think might be good for them. So 2620 Buchanan Street. Okay. Now, um, why don't we look at one that's sort of on the other end of the spectrum. We have 2698 Pacific Avenue. I'll pull that up right now. And as you can see, this is quite on the other end of the spectrum. Very, very beautiful still, but 
definitely um, more traditional, not so much modern. You're going to see some gorgeous architecture in this home. So this is an eight bed, eight bath. Listing price is twenty five eight, and this one was built in nineteen oh six. So um, it's behold the glamorous rebirth of twenty six ninety eight Pacific the star of San Francisco Decorator Showcase in 2017. So this is a very admired home. Originally built in 1906 by the renowned father and son architect team of Newsom & Newsom, this classic revival residence located on one of the premier blocks of Pacific Heights recently experienced a resurgence of glowing accolades. 28 of the best and brightest designers in San Francisco descended upon the four-story, 11,000-plus square foot mansion and transformed it from a stately, handsome home into a dazzling, jaw-dropping icon. The Mac Mansion of yesteryear was artfully reimagined for a contemporary esthete while respectfully paying homage to its rich heritage. Just to pose with the modern designer decor, classic architectural details still abound, from the Grand Escalier, crafted in dark wood with wrought iron bolsters, to the immediately recognizable circular temple-style portico, white marble front entrance. This one-of-a-kind property has only been in the hands of a few owners, such as financier Julius Mack, the Oric family for 50 years, and a prominent orthomolecular doctor. Perched atop a corner lot spanning nearly a fifth of an acre, 2698 Pacific boasts eight bedrooms, six bathrooms, plus two half bathrooms, and a sweeping panoramic view of the bay on the penthouse level. The middle levels are drenched in natural light and exude gracious living, while the ground level is perfect for staff quarters or guest suites. All four floors are connected with an elevator. Rear motor courts fit seven vehicles behind a gated side drive entrance. Of the 390,000 homes in San Francisco, only 42 have the distinction of being selected as prestigious San Francisco Decorator Showcase. This home is one of a very, very special group of trophy properties and deserves an equally distinguished new standard to carry its proud legacy. So this is certainly a home that uh, they would be proud to own. So we see immediately this gorgeous, gorgeous marble exterior staircase with the um, pillars, nice dome inside, very grand. The second picture is another exterior picture showing sort of a corner view of the house. You can see some of the landscaping third picture is during the day from the other side. You can see also that it is in a fabulous neighborhood. The fifth picture shows more of the external architecture. You can see that um, rounded corner. Uh, fifth is sort of more of an air view. And here we go. Okay, so this external part of the entrance really shows the architectural features in that dome. The beautiful marble carvings and the intricate details on those pillars as well. Now, coming into the home, this is not something you're going to see in almost any other home that we look at. So for picture seven, we have this immaculate entryway beautiful dark wood, sort of reminiscent of what the house probably used to be, but still very modernized, um, very clean, high ceilings, intricate woodwork designs, both on the walls and on the ceiling. And you see behind the table there, um, sort of a large sweeping staircase. Next, we have this gorgeous, interesting green room. You see um, the beautiful, ornate wallpaper, really nice window treatments to match, and the gold leaf on the scallop ceiling. Yeah. Well, this one this is a very, very unique home. Uh, certainly, they could make modifications to it. 
Yeah, okay, so I think I think they might value it for its uniqueness. That's what I thought when they were saying a unique home. It's very, very beautiful, different from most of the homes you'll see. Picture nine shows that gorgeous curve. Um, I remember seeing it from the outside on the corner. You can see also the beautiful floors with the wood going in the different direction, framing the outside of the floor. And again, that dome with those beautiful carved details. And if you look at the crown molding, it's really just stunning at the top of those windows, that gorgeous crown molding and more of that beautiful dark wood. But they did lighten up sort of the ceiling. And I really like the touch of the curtains that go all the way to the ceiling. Next, we have this gorgeous formal dining room. Of course, large Swarovski crystal chandelier. Plenty of room for a very, very large table. You see this table, they have feet, excuse me, seats eight, and you could certainly go much bigger in this room if you chose to. Gorgeous built-in dry bar on the side. That would be a great place for, um, you could put cutlery there or your china cabinets on the side as well and more of this beautiful ceiling and woodwork another view of the dining room sort of from the head of the table what your clients might see if they were to sit in this room and enjoy a lovely dinner and the opposite side view of the dining room reveals a gorgeous wood-burning fireplace of course it is functional yeah. You can also see the baseboard heating there. Now, this does have central air and heat, but that radiator has been left in sort of for the architectural beauty of it because it does call back to the yesteryear part of the house. The next picture is the gorgeous large chef's kitchen and pantry. You can see plenty of room for ingredients and a little island in the center and you can sort of get a peek at the appliances but I think they're better in the next picture. Yep, there we go. Okay, so here we see a beautiful island with dual sinks. We have this banquette seating in the corner which would be great for more informal dining. Sit there for breakfast again or dinner. You can see the dual wall ovens off to the side and to the right you get a peek at the fridge. Of course, these are all premier appliance brands, very high quality, commercial kitchen quality. Okay, so now we have a better view of that banquette seating. Lots of natural light in there, beautiful views, and another view of the kitchen showing the dishwasher and another sink on the left. Here's a better view of that island. Have some gorgeous, more rustic finishes with the wood and that backsplash. Even the vent hood, it's all a little bit more rustic, but still very clean. Fits the mood and vibe of the house quite nicely. See two refrigerators and that large wall, or excuse me, the large range and cooktop. Better view of the backsplash appliances and vent hood. We have this very large stove. I believe it is eight burner, but we can double check when we go in. And the next picture, we have another gorgeous sitting room. So this would be a really beautiful place to sit with guests, relax, you could read in here. Very, very unique room. You see the um, texture on the walls and ceiling and those gorgeous exposed beams, more of the beautiful hardwood floor and very interesting wall detail in the back there. To the left, you can also see the beginning of a fireplace with this really beautiful pillar that matches the outside. And the next picture shows you a better view of the fireplace and the back of that room. 
really, really interesting, very large focal art pieces that can be purchased with the house if your clients are interested in them. But if not, they certainly have plenty of room for their own art on those walls. And we see there another beautiful wood-burning functional fireplace. Here's a better view of this grand sweeping staircase. Look at the gorgeous banister on this. Really um, fine details. And coming up into the second half where it splits off into two staircases. And you'll see really beautiful arches at the top as well with more pillars. Now, this is a very interesting feature, this stained glass ceiling. Really beautiful. This is right above the staircase, and this is extremely admired by anybody that comes into the house. Um, great design feature. Gives some natural light, but is really a focal point as well because of the stained glass. Now we have the master bedroom. Very large size. You'll see a gas-burning fireplace in here with intricate detail on the mantle. We also have a beautiful curved wall with a nice area for seating. Beautiful wood floors, high ceilings, gorgeous crown molding. It's it's very beautiful house. Okay, and here's another sitting area. And this bathroom is stunning. So, you'll look at this beautiful intricate details all around. The floor has that gorgeous wood tile in a very unique pattern. The ceiling is actually marble, and it's um, inlaid. We have a gorgeous crystal chandelier, and to the right you see a very large shower. They could potentially decide to put another shower head at the other side. And of course, we have the dual sink vanity marble. If I go to the next picture, you'll see that the marble wraps all the way around the sides. It's very stunning. You have a window right there, and look at that view. It's a gorgeous view. We have two large geometric mirrors, um, mirrored by a geode on the uh, vanity itself. We have gold hardware on the vanity and gold taps. And if we go to the next picture, another view of the bathroom, and you see this nice large soaker tub in the back. Really beautiful antique style, especially if you look at that gorgeous um, shower head in there. And then this next picture is one of the upstairs sitting rooms. More of a casual family room. Oh, okay. So if, if they enjoy gaming, this might be a really, really nice gaming room. As you can see, still has the high ceilings and gorgeous wood floors. They've painted one of the walls an accent wall gray, very light and airy still. Now this next room is just adorable. So this they've staged as a child's room. Of course, this could be used for any manner of purposes, but it does have a beautiful mural on the wall created by a fantastic and renowned artist. The colors also are ombre from a dark orange on the floor to a blue, mimicking sort of a sunrise or a sunset. And um, really, really soothing color pattern in this room. It would be great for a nursery if they did decide to have children in this home. And uh, it could be converted to a guest room as well, even while keeping that beautiful mural if they liked it. Now this next room is very interesting. You see, we have a very busy and interesting wallpaper for this slightly smaller but still very decent sized guest bathroom. Uh, for any other home, of course, this would be a giant bathroom, but compared to the master, it's a little smaller but still very large. We have two beautiful vanities with black inlaid sink, and we have black around the mirror to sort of pull out that wallpaper. Gorgeous tile floors. Then we have a separate standing tub 
and glass in case shower. Another chandelier in here. Really, really interesting style. I think this one is quite beautiful. Now, this next room is another setting area. They have a built-in sort of banquette seating along the edge here. Very comfortable. The beautiful panel wall in the back. <laughs> it's not your 1960s, 1970s paneling. It's definitely very upgraded and lush. We have the um, built-in lights in the ceiling and a nice large floor-to-ceiling window that actually is a door. So if we go to the next picture, these are doors that go out onto this lovely large balcony. And you can see the next picture. The views from this balcony are really just stunning. Um, we have a water feature right here. It's not turned on in the picture, but it's quite beautiful. And here is a picture of the view that they could see every single day in this house. More views. Now, picture 37 is a really interesting office space. Um, this is quite nice. I like how it's a bit darker. Really sort of a different mood from some of the other rooms in the house, so if you were to come in here for work, it might feel like sort of a separation from the rest of your life. Really gorgeous textured wallpaper in this room. And now we come into more of the guest area. So you have another staircase here. This is the back staircase, and it's quite beautiful, leading to the downstairs. We have this large open landing. Here we have another sitting room, more casual, has space for a second table here. This would be a great sort of in-law suite or guest apartment. And then we have beautiful guest bedroom. You can see, again, lovely chandelier, lots of good light in here, lighter wood floors. Another beautiful guest bedroom in the next picture with them. This is a gas fireplace and a beautiful chandelier as well. They really have a lot of nice touches in this house. The next picture is another room space that has been staged as more of an office. Could be a guest room as well. Now, this is a really gorgeous and interesting room as well. We have blues in this room, so the other bathroom had blacks. This one has blues. This is a laundry room and also a pet bathing station. So, oh, oh, that's perfect. What kind of dog do they have? Okay, so the, yeah, their dog would fit wonderfully in this pet bathing station. So we have beautiful tile floor, very gorgeous, unique wallpaper sort of blue accent tiles here, laundry space in this, large sink, and then of course the beautiful pet bathing station with that tile. Picture number 44 is the rear exterior of the house with this courtyard area, so that can be used for additional parking. You see here in the next picture we have a car set up there to show what that looks like. There's a lot of space for parking in this house. Okay, so that was 2698 Pacific Avenue. What do you think they would think about that? Oh, okay. Okay, so you think they would really enjoy the uniqueness of this one? Okay, sure. Well, okay, I can show you some others if you'd like. Okay then. Well, do you still want to look at the Buchanan Street? Okay, let's get you in to see both of those. So we have 2620 Buchanan and 2698 Pacific Avenue. And what date is good for you? The sooner the better, of course. Certainly, let me make sure there's availability tomorrow. We should be able to get in. Okay. Could you do 10 a.m.? 
okay, I will meet you at Buchanan at 10 a.m. And then when we're done there, we can head right over to Pacific, okay? That's perfect. Well, this will at least give us an idea of what things look like in person and Okay, so you're gonna take some video for your clients as well. Both of these also have professional videos that have been shot and I can send those to you if you'd like to look them over with your client. Okay, excellent. So we'll start with these two and that'll at least give us an idea of what they're looking for and we can continue looking after that if, um, if they don't decide to jump on one of these. Okay, that sounds great. Well, I am drafting up an email right now for you with both of these listings, links to all of the photos and the videos, and I will send you a calendar invite for 10 a.m. tomorrow meeting at the Buchanan house. Okay. Yeah, it was very nice to speak with you, Jessica. I do hope that um, your clients really like these homes and we can narrow it down further from there. Okay, lovely. So I'll send that email right out after we hang up. All right, I'm going to end the uh, video chat now and I'll see you tomorrow.